so uh, we have a great show lined up for you, and it's a bit distracting the newsroom right now because. Why is that? Well, we have a stuntman on oh, the show, right, Peter right, Kent. That. Yes. Uh, this guy's amazing, and he's had such an amazing career. So we're actually going to talk to him a little bit about how he got started. Because I don't even know, like, how, how do you how do you fall into being a stuntman? Well, this is how. Oh wow. Okay. Well, he just he was just getting some papers, Peter. Uh, <laughs> Nine forty. <laughs> don't mess around. Degrees. Wow. <laughs> Jamie, uh, very pleased now to be joined by Peter Kent. Uh, if he looks familiar, if his body type looks familiar, it's because you've probably seen him in several movies, including. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's uh, stunt double for what, 15 years? Yeah. Okay, well, you, I have so many questions for you. But before <laughs> before we get started on that, uh, you're in town for a reason. The Vaughn Film Fest is going on. Uh, tell us about that. Um, I'm actually doing a, a, a one of stunt seminar out in Vaughn with the Vaughn Film Festival guys. And um, it's for young actors, aspiring actors, or people who just want to have a curiosity about uh, learning fight choreography. We're going to do some wire work, put them in a vest, and pick them up and fly them around. And this way, if, stuff? Yeah. yeah. All in basic, a day's work. Yeah. Basic stuff. Yeah, <laughs> Peter Pan flying around. Um, it's for young actors who maybe want to uh, you know, take their careers a little bit further and be able to say that they have that experience so that if a director says, can you do this, you can say, yes, I, I've done it before. Okay, speaking of, uh, when you started your career, you had no experience. Tell us about how you got started because it's just an unbelievable story. Yeah, uh, well, I lied, basically. I, um, I was <laughs> sent out to meet James Cameron for a, as a lighting stand-in. Okay. And then Jim took a look at me and said, I, you have the job. Um, by the way, have you done stunts before? And I said, said, uh, gee, I may not have this job if I don't say yes. So I said yes, and basically that was it. The next thing, I found myself on set being asked to fly through windows and get set on fire and stuff like that. And, you know, the coordinator eventually sussed me out and said, you have no idea what you're doing, do you? And, and that basically saved my life because he helped train me. Holy smoke. And, you know, your, your resume is one of the craziest resumes I've ever seen. I mean, last action hero, you, you got injured, and total recall. Uh, there was something that happened. True Lies uh, almost died hanging from a helicopter in the rescue. Eraser, rest of the, I heard. Of, there's a good story. Eraser. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what are some of the worst injuries you've had? And just tell us about some of your well, crazy stories. Most of my face is not original equipment anymore. I've okay. had my nose broken, cheekbone like, broken, jaw broken. You look pretty good, uh, considering. Yeah. Not bad, I guess. Maybe yeah. that was. Maybe that helps. I don't know. Uh, I was hit by a three and a half ton overseas shipping container, 100 feet in the air on a racer. Oh, wow. um, that sequence that you see with James Conn and Vanessa Williams. Uh -huh. it, en it ended up being CGI, computer generated, but in fact, we tried to do it realistically, and all ended up in a hospital. So. Wow. Jeez. Okay. So what what makes you want to get up every morning and do this? Adrenaline rush. Much better than coffee. Better than any drug in the world. I can <laughs> tell you that for sure. Adrenaline. Adrenaline's a great buzz. So you were uh, Arnold's uh, stunt double for, for 15 years, you said, and this yeah. is during his heyday. So we're talking, you know, Terminator 2, Eraser, mm -hmm. Collateral Damage, a lot of the big movies. Um, what was it like working with Arnold and, and standing in for him? Uh, it was busy, for one. Um, like on Terminator 2, I, we had three separate units My running. favorite movie of all time, by my, the way. Yeah, and my bike jump up there, um, which put me in the Hollywood Stuntmen's Hall of Fame. Um, it, it was really busy. I mean, I, I had days where, you know, you'd wake up and you'd be hurting and you'd have to go back to work, uh, wake up peeing blood and still have to go back to work. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I, I just, just looking at those, those pictures, I just, it's unbelievable that you, you did this for a living. And you guys actually built a little bit of a relationship, too, I would imagine, after 15 years working oh, yeah. together. Uh, so what's that like? Well, you know, I mean, you're with the guy 24-7. I'm in his room. We're smoking cigars. We're running dialogue. I was actually even his dialogue coach for a while, although I didn't have a lot to work with. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, And I cooked for him. And, uh, you know, I, I drew the line at the at with being with the housekeeping staff. So. Wow, you guys, in that picture, <laughs> good place to draw the line. you yeah. guys really look alike. I was the first guy ever in the industry to wear basically a Mission Impossible mask on my face. Uh, I can tell you it was extremely uncomfortable. Uh, I wore it sometimes 16 hours a day, glued to your face every day, glued to your face. So you can imagine the rash you would get from that. And of course, makeup doesn't care. It's just like, stop squealing, hold still. Let's get this thing glued on you and get back out there. So, What, what type of insurance you have to take out for your line of work? I uh, used to have Lloyd's of London, but when the Exxon Valdez ran aground, of course, Lloyd's went bankrupt. So now nobody insures you. Nobody insures you? No. So if you were to get seriously injured, which has happened to you before, yeah. there's, no, there's no process as to No, you, get, you, you get workman's comp, that's about it. So basically that's one reason why I don't do stunts anymore. And I have right. four-year-old twin boys now, so I don't want to do that either. And we should say, you do other things. You have a, an autobiography and you have a stunt school. So yeah. tell us a little bit more about what you're up to. Um, I have my stunt school in Vancouver, which is called Peter Kent School of Hard Knocks. And I'm actually thinking of coming out to Toronto and, and running uh, the, on a larger scale as well as, uh, as what we're doing in Vaughan right now. 
Um, and uh, I also work as a second unit director. I wor still work as an actor. I'm doing a, a new sitcom in uh, New York uh, at the end of this month. Um, I'm a screenwriter, producer, a little of everything. Wow. What, do you, what do you do one day if uh, the kids come up to you and say, hey, Dad, we want to be stuntmen? I think that's already happening. My wife's quite terrified of it because uh -oh. my boys are just maniacs. They're running and leaping off the furniture and crashing through stuff already. And she goes, oh, God, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. So. <laughs> that's great. Well, listen, uh, we want to hear, uh, i got to ask you to do this. Uh, I want to hear you do your Arnold impression because you spent so much time with him. You said you trained him on some of the... We will sometimes break out the Arnold impression on the show. Okay. Uh, it's I, not good. Well, well, we, yeah. gotta, we, gotta, uh, we should have a little contest to see who can do the best Arnold impression here. Okay, well, I'll go right now. Ready? It's not a tumor. Oh, that's horrible. It, it's not a tumor. Everybody down. Everybody get down. <laughs> Run to the chopper. <laughs> oh, that was, see, that was his best. Or my favorite one in Terminator was get out. <laughs> get out. Pooch? <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on, come on, get <laughs> Get out. <laughs> That's terrible. That is terrible. I didn't we think it was work. good. All right, so um, you're going to actually teach us a stunt. After yeah, we're gonna, we're actually pretty good, though. I don't know how much help we need. Can we show you a little something we've been working on? Okay. All right. Let's ready? See. Are you ready? One, two, three. Huh. 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 Wow, that's really sad. <laughs> We worked on that all morning. Is no good? No, it's not like, good. All right. I was like no. hours. We'll, we'll get you set straight. We'll get you set straight. Okay, okay you'll stick around to help us yeah, out after will, the break? Yeah. Okay. That's happening after the break. Stay tuned for that. For that, 951, 17 degrees. We're going to be shown how it's really done. By a pro. Yes. Um, all right, welcome back to CB24 Breakfast Weekend. We're joined by stuntman Peter Kent. Uh, he was Arnold Schwarzenegger's stuntman for 15 years. Uh, Peter, what am I wearing? <laughs> You're wearing what's called a jerk vest, and we're going to be using ah, this out at Oh, Bond. right, of course, a jerk Fitting. vest. I'm just kidding. It's not for a jerk. <laughs> no, no, don't go there. Uh, but it is for putting a wire on and yanking you backwards or picking you up, or if you're shot oh, with a shotgun, oh, so we can oh, it yank you, you backwards on a, you on a ratchet. Yeah. I actually, saw, out of the way. I actually yeah. saw Mythbusters where they show it when like bombs go off in real life, you don't actually get blown back. Yeah, you get yanked on a wire. Okay. Yeah. That's so, that, okay. so that's the kind of vest you would wear. Okay. I should say that there's a lot involved here. Uh, Peter was kind enough to come in hours before you were actually on. He like scouted out the whole newsroom, made sure that safety was paramount, and of course. Uh, we it actually have a, a clip of uh, something that we taped earlier on to show you how it all works. <laughs> You may have seen that on the show, and you may have wondered about the man who flipped over the railing. Is he still alive? The answer is yes. Um, <laughs> do, you, do you want to come on in? Actually, just come on, come on in with us right now. Come here, Eli. Just, uh, just Eli. proof that he's he's living. He's all he's all good. So Eli, <laughs> you were okay because you flipped over the railing. You're okay. You landed on this big. Uh, people can't see you oh, right here. Yeah, you landed on this big mat. Uh, mat. Yeah, so I'm you're good. Fine, you're okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, yeah. good stuff. <laughs> How long have you been doing it as well? Uh, I've been doing it for a number of years. Not as long as uh, Peter over here, okay. but um, about uh, five years. Is, is it tougher to be the person throwing the punches and trying to look convincing, or the person taking it and getting getting knocked? What's the tough? I think the, uh, the cell is a, is very the important. Cell? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so now that we've seen how you guys do it, can we take another crack at it? Okay. Okay, okay. what do we need to know? I'm going to put this down. Okay. Are you going you sure, to show that there? Okay. So, tell um, us what we need to okay. know. So, I'm ready. <laughs> all right, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to throw the punch across his face, and you're going you're oh. to swing out a little this bit. This is where she's always wanted to hear, by the you, way. You, yeah. can, you can miss him by about that much. So Easy like yeah. there. And, Her depth and, perception is weak. Okay, well, <laughs> and as she crosses the axis of your nose, that's uh -huh. when you snap your head in that direction. It's okay? a large axis and a large nose. Okay, well, <laughs> let's go for it. And uh, on action, okay? Ready to go. Ready, oh, yeah. and action. Boom. <laughs> there you go. 